Hi, hope you're having an amazing day. So what we're doing today is the Makeup Newbie Advice Tag and this tag was created by Makeup Queenie 68 and it consists of 15 questions. I thought we'd do them today. Um, I do have my hair up. It's just way too hot. I don't know. I don't like how it looks, but whatever. Um, I thought I'd film this today. I loved the questions that she asked and I think all these questions will be super helpful for anybody who's just starting out on the makeup journey and needs advice or a push in the right direction and yeah so if you're interested just keep on watching so i just kind of want to add i have been so hooked on the show the good witch let me know if you guys have watched it it's just so good it's literally on pause right now i just haven't been able to just to stop watching it. it's just so good let me know if you watch it it's so interesting and so cute like i'm i'm barely on season one i'm like in, on episode five or something and if you haven't watched it you should it's on netflix um i'm hooked on it so i truly recommend you check it out it's really cute and let's get into it so the first question what do you suggest a new makeup wearer should buy first and what i said is mascara for me mascara is super super important i feel like it just finishes up off the look even like before i started wearing eyeshadow and like foundation and stuff um i turned to mascara first because it would make me feel a little more confident it just adds a little something extra it's just nice and i feel like that would be the first thing that i would tell a makeup newbie to buy because it's inexpensive if you go to the drugstore or whatever and it just makes a huge difference question number two what is your favorite way to find deals on makeup and what i do is i usually go to like tj maxx marshall's um where else ross any of those places walmart um i wouldn't recommend cvs because makeup there can be a little expensive um but any like tj maxx and stuff they have such great products at such affordable prices they have high-end products at affordable prices and yeah so i would recommend you go there i'm not really an online shopping person so i wouldn't know any websites to recommend number three what is your favorite makeup to collect and for this um i truly thought that i would say eyeshadow to this but i honestly love liquid lipsticks and i have quite a few i think i surpassed my fifth i had like 50 listed in um my makeup book it's in here um it's just where i write out all my makeup but yeah i surpassed the 50 i have more than that now and i feel like with liquid lipsticks it kind of can interchange and i get to try different formulas and it's just more fun for me and i really love i love eyeshadow palettes um but i feel like i get more excited about liquid lipsticks let me know if you're the same and yeah that's just what i would say liquid lipsticks is like my thing number four what is your top advice for building a makeup collection you know, when you watch like makeup collection videos and stuff you're kind of like oh my god that's like a lot of stuff i wish i had all that and the truth is it builds over time once you start like buying stuff buy but buy stuff that you feel good in buying not just like buying stuff just to have a collection not you know doing impulsive purchases just because you want to build a huge collection it's just make sure that you're bringing in things that you really are in, excited to use and enjoy using say i would just say as you keep purchasing stuff your collection will grow and it's not going to grow all at once um but it's so cool because once you look and like me like i didn't think i had this much makeup until like i did an inventory and i like organize it once you start organizing your makeup you kind of start to realize how much stuff you actually have and that's what i would say like start building slow slow and steady wins a race <laughs> it's like slowly build your your collection and by the time you know what it is you're gonna have a lot of stuff that you love number five what is your number one recommended easy eyeshadow palette a newbie should buy and for this question i and i have it right here too so for this question i recommend the maybelline soda pop palette and if you own this one it's amazing i haven't tried the yellow one i know there's like a lemon craze i really love this one and i would definitely recommend this one for a makeup newbie because first of all it smells really good and the packaging is beautiful i love this packaging not just because my col favorite color is purple it's just like whatever color it is it's just so cute um so what i love about this palette as you can see we have like two it's like divided into two sections the top section is more of wearable shadows and more like every day and these shadows are so blendable and soft and so cool and it smells so good it smells like soda like soda pop i don't know how to explain that but then the bottom half as you can see it's more like like outgoing shades so i would recommend this palette in particular because you have all your wearable shades right so if you haven't worn any shadow you want to start out with your wearable shades and kind of 
as time goes on and you feel a little more adventurous, you have your bottom section where you could kind of deepen up the outer crease. Let's say with this deep brown here. Or if you're feeling a little wild and you want to add a little purple, this is just a perfect palette. I don't know. It's just nice. And it's not too expensive. I believe this is like $10, but everywhere it's like a different price. I've seen it at Forever 21. It's like $14. Make sure you do your research. But um, yeah, this one's the one that I would recommend. It's just perfect. And if I could choose one palette out of all my palettes, honestly, I would choose this one just because I love the formula and I love that there's like wearable and colorful shades. So this is the one that I would recommend. Uh, number six, what is your absolute necessity item or item that you would never not use in a look product recommendation? And I did talk about mascara earlier. I feel like mascara is just important. I can't like, I feel weird if I don't apply mascara. I don't know who does their eyeshadow not apply mascara unless you're allergic or something. But I can't do that. Um, so my fave is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It's no surprise because I've spoken about this mascara quite a few times on my channel. And I do have uh, like whole ranking my mascaras video i'll have that link down below if you want to check that out that one was really fun to film but yeah definitely this is the one i would recommend i have mentioned that it does flake a little bit for me i don't really mind but if that's something that you don't like you know i don't know there's plenty of other mascaras in the drugstore but this is the one that is my favorite and i really love it it's really cool and yeah this is the one that i would recommend number seven lipstick or lip gloss product re recommendation um for this I was gonna say both but it did say or and um, as you can see I am wearing lip gloss. I wasn't a lip gloss person but now I've kind of gotten into it a little more and I love it. I just like how it looks. Um, but for this I chose liquid lipstick and I chose my Wet n Wild liquid cat suit and this one's in Give Me Mocha. This is just a beautiful shade. I did post a picture of me wearing it on my Instagram because I'm a liquid lipstick lottery yesterday um if you want to check that out yeah this is one that i would definitely recommend i really love the the formula of their liquid lipsticks if you have a lighter skin tone and this is a little too deep for you they also have one in rebel rose which is a little lighter it's more like pink i'll put a swatch if i have it i'm sure i do that one's really nice too and this is just the one that i love for my skin tone like, honestly it would go so great if you only buy like these two together you have like a whole everyday kind of situation and the mascara you already have your set you know and it's not too expensive eight brushes or sponges and what brand for me i really love elf brushes and i love their um sponge the pink one that i've spoken about and use in countless videos and that's just my favorite i really love and i love the prices and just everything about elf and um if not elf there's also nyx which has um affordable brushes and they're good quality yeah, it's not hard to find like good quality brushes from the drugstore. Thankfully, and, like, they've upped their game. And yeah, so e.l.f. or NYX, definitely the one that I would recommend. For number nine, what is your favorite high-end item that they should splurge on? And for me, um, the item that came to mind immediately was foundation. I feel like if you are going to splurge on something from the from like Sephora or Ulta, wherever you want to go, um, I would say foundation is the way to go just because you know you're going to be using it. Um, make sure that you do your research on it and that it is like for your skin tone and your skin type and have the right shade because that's going to kind of deter you from using it if, you don't, if you're like completely off. Um, yeah, so for me, product recommendation would be um, the Too Faced Peach Perfect foundation. This one costs like, what, $32 or something? And um, I had purchased it before and I loved it. So I did purchase it again because it's so good and... I just definitely recommended that one if you wanted to know i use shade sand yeah this is just my favorite and especially if you have oily skin this one's really good number 10 what is your favorite drugstore item they won't regret buying for me i said highlights and i would go with the maybelline master chrome highlights i have two of them this one is in molten gold and this one's in molten rose gold molten rose gold is my favorite and this one's really beautiful as well they're just super blinding like I said, the drugstore has stepped up their game, so a lot of their items are pretty good and good quality for the price that you're paying. You can go subtle with it if you apply just a little bit, but you could also go blinding with it if you like pack it on. So yeah, this one's really nice and really affordable. Number 11, what is your favorite brand to recommend for newbies? And the brand that I chose was LA Colors because um, they have such affordable products with such great quality, as well as Santee Cosmetics, which is a brand that I did a video on on thursday and i'll have that link below if you want to watch that and they have such affordable products for such great quality they're just so amazing i 
I hope you check out LA Colors or Santee. Both of them are amazing, great quality, and great prices if you don't want to spend a bunch of money on makeup when you're just starting. And yeah, that's those are two brands that I would definitely recommend. Number 12, what is your most enjoyable or fun makeup item to use? And for this, I did say glitter um, because it just transforms your look. Whatever like little pinch of glitter you add to your look, it just makes it more glam, like more extra. It's just nice. It just adds something extra and glitter for sure is something that transforms your look or like a Stila glitter, let's say, or like any of those transformative um, liquid shadows are so beautiful. 13, what is your favorite behind the scenes item product recommendation? And that would be my Pink Panther Miniso liner. This one comes with a stamp and a liner on the other side. I have spoken about this quite a few times. It's just really nice, really black. This is definitely one that I recommend often because it's just really good, really easy to apply. just love it. It's really nice. I did use it in Thursday's video as well. It lasts all day, so this is definitely one that I recommend. I'll try to look for it and leave a link down below because I know it's kind of hard to find. But yeah, this is definitely like the behind the scenes kind of product that people can't really find because the stores are kind of rare but it's just an amazing product. Okay, question number 14. If you could tell a person just starting out with makeup anything, what would it be? And what I wrote is that it takes practice and it's just a matter of seeing what works, what doesn't work, what works with your skin tone, with your skin type, with your undertone. Just take all those things in account. Don't give up on, like if you pick the wrong foundation shade, Learn from your mistakes, keep practicing because you do get better. If it doesn't work, try different things, different methods. All of us have different eye shapes, different face shapes, different skin tones, different skin types, all that stuff. So do what works for you. I mean, it's good to see like tutorials and stuff of what might work and what might not work. If it works for them, it might not work for you. Just take that into account and make sure that you don't get frustrated with yourself. Just keep practicing. Um, for me, I didn't know how to do eyeliner and I taught myself because it's just something that I always wanted to do and I didn't know how to do eyeshadow but I learned and it's just a matter of you practicing on your own. Remember that makeup isn't one size fits all. We all have different ways of doing our makeup, break the rules. You don't have to use a product for the way that it says it's supposed to be used for. Use it the way that you want to. Use it the way that you think it's going to work best for you. Make it fun. Make it your own. You don't have to follow the rules but break them. Just do whatever feels right for you. Another thing is don't compare yourself to other people online especially. Everything on Instagram or most things on Instagram are not real. A lot of them are edited or whatever. There's nothing wrong with editing pictures or anything. I do it. Um, everyone does it. Um, it's just not comparing yourself, not comparing your following, not comparing your makeup skills. Don't compare yourself to other people. Again, people put out stuff that they want us to see. What people project online is not always true. That's not always, it's just things are not just one-sided. Um, so don't compare yourself to other people. Be happy with what you have and build on the skills that you already acquire. And remember that you're beautiful and you don't need makeup for that, but makeup is fun and it's only to enhance our beauty, not to cover it up. 15 is to tag two people and I tag everyone watching this video and already done it it was really fun and it really makes you think what would I want to hear someone telling me when I first started doing makeup and all that stuff so this is really fun and I hope that you guys enjoyed it and we made it to the end of the video so we made it to the end many interruptions later we got to the end I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed filming this for you today again if you don't follow makeup queenie you should she's super creative and super fun to watch she's just so energetic and just so fun so I'll leave her video to this tag down below if you want to check it out she's amazing all the stuff that I mentioned today all the names all the prices will be down below you'll also notice some videos that I uploaded from last week if you want to go to those or watch they'll be down there in the description box below I post every Tuesday, every Thursday, and every other Sunday. My Insta handle will be right here. I post a lot of finds, a lot of liquid lipstick swatches, a lot of makeup shots. It's a lot of fun over there. It would be amazing if you could come join us. And I would love it if you could like and subscribe. Of course, you don't have to. You are your own person and you make your own decisions. But it wouldn't hurt to give this video a like. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. I can't forget the day we met. Your eyes so blue, me through.